All right, Ooh, there she is. The tsunami is here. I think it's coming from this direction. You can see it in the monitors. Oh no. Okay. Oh. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with a brand new update in Stormworks. Now there is quite a bit to this update. It is actually uh, considered one of their major updates. And there are things that include new cameras, which I know a lot of people have been requesting this. Uh, I thought it would be very neat to see these in Stormworks. Uh, we've got that. We've got new radio systems. There's new scripting for all the builders, uh, which I probably will not be able to explain that to you here today. Uh, but there's just a lot of things to check out. And to begin with here, I've actually done a bit of building. Now, I know it's a little bit of a shock that Komodo's done some sort of building, but I am uh, making it an effort to try to learn some things because I do eventually want to build like a ship, uh, potentially a helicopter or airplane. But one thing I really wanted to do, I wanted to learn at least the camera system and how all this works. So we're going to go over some of that. We will check out some of the new items. Uh, you can see that I built a bunker here. And yes, I wanted to build like a tsunami bunker that has like cameras on it where you can see the outside. And I think it's going to be actually really cool uh, once it's done. But we will do a little bit of work on that here today. So hopefully you guys are excited for this update. Now, one thing I am going to do here, I'm going to link several channels down in my description of people that will better be able to explain these updates to you guys. So I'm going to link Mr. In Jersey, Frantic's a Builder. Uh, the other ones I know of are people like Endoskull, uh, Attaboy, and Storm Runner. I'm going to have all their links. So when it comes to actual building and maybe tutorials and stuff like that, uh, they will be able to explain this to you better than I can. But I'm going to do the best I can here with what I have. And we're going to jump into this. All right, so I thought I'd make it like a bonus episode here, too. Now, we do have some creations we're going to check out, and more uh, examples as to what you can do. Uh, we have, like, a drone. Uh, there are several really advanced creations uh, that we're going to take a look at here in a second. But I've got the Komodo shelter. This is, like, Mark 1. This probably wouldn't even withstand a tsunami. But this is really to help you guys uh, kind of understand some of the new features. As you can see, the inside's pretty bare. Uh, we've got four of the new monitors here, and check this out, folks. This is actually really neat. So let's go ahead and hit this button here. Check that out. We have live feeds. So I have a uh, camera out the front, a camera out the back, and there's what they call a gimbal camera. Now, a gimbal camera, you would probably see that on, like, a helicopter, maybe even a ship. Uh, it's got zoom functionality, infrared. Uh, it's very, very awesome. So one thing you're probably going to notice is that the cameras are not in a really high resolution, and they do pr affect performance a little bit. Uh, it's not too bad, but I think it's just kind of maybe some of the limitations of the games. To me, they look fine. Like, I can tell what's going on, and I can tell, like, if somebody's trying to sneak up on us or if I'm out searching for something, which, by the way, check this out. Our gimbal camera's up here, which I could probably use a bigger monitor and make it its own station, but we can actually move it. So we can rotate it around. Uh, we can move it up. Well, actually, that's all the way over. That's down. Uh, it's really meant, I think, to be mounted on the bottom of something, which actually you could see it up here. Uh, that's what you're looking at. And you can actually see the feed. I'm going to zoom in over there. That's what is going on there, so I can rotate it. There you go. That's really cool. So one more thing that I've done with this, I actually have a hotkey set up. So check this out. We can go in infrared mode by clicking one, which obviously it's really bright outside, so this is kind of useless. And I've got the arrow keys to where you can actually zoom in and out. Now, there are three different cameras, I believe. I've got, and let me go ahead and point them out to you. These are the small cameras. These are just basic cameras. There's a medium camera uh, that has the infrared technology. I'm not sure about the zoom. And then, of course, the gimbal that I showed you guys up top. So you do notice that I do have an empty monitor here. Let me go ahead and turn these off. I'll save some battery. Actually, I do have a generator. Komodo put together a, uh, a little generator here thanks to some of the tutorials. Uh, it is a diesel one, and it's rather loud. <laughs> but uh, maybe Komodo will figure out the other technologies here soon. So that's going. Let's go ahead and make sure batteries are charged, and we're going to get the lights on. Now, this is a tsunami bunker. I have a little thing on the wall here. This is for Magol's or at least I hope this is going to work. I've seen it on different creations. These are going to latch down to the ground and try to hold this thing in place. We will test this uh, here in just a little bit. But yeah, about that empty monitor, we need to figure out something for it. I might do an interior camera. I figured that would be kind of cool. 
maybe we'll just stick one aim towards the door, I think, is what we're going to do. Maybe something like right here, so it's going to look like it's in an odd spot. I might mount it above the uh, the button here. So let's go ahead and show you guys how, to, how easy it is to actually hook this up. I mean, it was so easy I could figure it out. All right, so we're going to go down here. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and type in camera real quick. So you can see there's the gimbal, there's the medium, and we're going to use a small camera. So let's go ahead and put that there. All right, so I'm going to make a hole here, and we're going to stick our camera right here. So the purpose of this station, it's also kind of going to be a weather station once I'm through with it. I hope that's aiming right side up. I think it is. So in order to hook one of these cameras up, you can go over here to Logic. And uh, you need electricity, so I'm going to hook it up to one of my batteries, which are connected to generators, which it actually generates, and I'm kind of surprised by that. And then there's a new thing over here called video. So you simply just have to grab this little node and transfer it to, like, an empty monitor. Now, as far as monitors, there are more than this. This is the second biggest one. There is a 9x5, which is like a big screen TV. So also you have a 1x1 that fit kind of like down in a helicopter uh, have a nice little screen there, and there's a 2x2. Two two. Now, there are also other bigger things that are going on here. There are, uh, some people are going to be able to make, like, touch screens and stuff in this game, and I've got a couple examples we'll see here in a second. Yeah, that's the, uh, the big monitor. That would probably be what I would want for that gimbal camera, uh, but yeah. All right, so I think we've got our camera hooked up. Let's go ahead. We'll spawn this in. So, before we do any Tsunami stuff and play with the other creations, we will quickly go over some of the other things that I can't explain to you guys uh, in the patch notes. Let's go ahead and light those up. Uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and turn this on. i got to find a quieter generation method. I'm sure there's other styles of generators. I'm using a pretty, uh, we'll call it a very basic advanced engine here. So, uh, let's go ahead and turn that on. Oh, look at that! You can see... Oh, that is creepy. Hold on. Turn, turn that way. So yeah, we have like a little security camera in here that can see me. Oh, look at that. You can actually see the monitor. So you can see the monitor and all of that. That's actually really cool. So yeah, we got our outside monitors. Now one thing, I don't know if there's a way to do it. I'm sure there is. Uh, I don't know how to. I kind of wish the gimbal camera that we could set it. So say like we position it that way. Uh, I really wish it would lock into place, but it comes back to its resting spot. Now there might be a way to do this. Uh, I'd have to look at it. Maybe you could do it by buttons or push switches. I'm not really sure how that works. I'll have to see, but anyways, uh, this is the basics. We'll move this bunker outside here in a second, uh, but let me go ahead while we're doing this. Let's go ahead and walk outside. Just take a look at it. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for that, definitely let me know, uh, but let's go ahead and go over some of the other patch notes. All right, so we've been over some of the cameras and monitors. Now, I've gone over the cameras and how they interact with monitors, but the monitors can do many different things, including touchscreen interfaces, which is really cool. We've got radio controls, which is really cool. Say if I want to hook a camera up on the other side of the map, I can now do that and put an antenna up and feed it back to maybe a monitor in this station. Now, there is a keep active block, which this is something which I have a creations episode coming out soon where something kept despawning on me. And this is really good because this is actually a block that makes it to where creations don't despawn once they get far away from each other. Uh, this is really meant for stuff like drones. And then there's the Luau scripting, which I cannot explain to you what that is, but it's coding and people can do some amazing stuff in here and I actually uh, really look forward to what we're going to see here in the future. So... That's out of the way. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna set up a custom mission real quick, and I'm gonna move this thing out I should probably make like a mobile base uh, This will do All right, here we are. I hope these magnets work. I might have to come up with a different method I've seen the magnet method work. I just don't know if they have enough pull here So let's go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and activate magnets here Let's see. Let's go and get the generator running. I'm a little worried about this generator too. I hope I sealed everything up there uh, <laughs> Oh boy, I'm a bit nervous. Okay, so there's our feed here. All right, so we're good. I'm gonna activate the magnets and we'll call in a tsunami. We should actually see it come in on the monitors, which is really cool. Uh, also, real quick, by the way, let me go ahead and do this for you guys. Look at that, there's our night monitors. So if we were to go boom, check this out. So we're gonna hit one. All right, that gimbal camera is now in uh, infrared here. So we can actually see a little bit better. That'll be good for nighttime rescues, but thought I'd show you that real quick. Okay, so Tsunami is spawned in. Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see it on the actual monitor. I'm not gonna look outside for this. 
Oh boy. All right, so uh, I guess while we're waiting here, we can talk about a couple other features. What would you like to see in this uh, little bitty, we're gonna call this a pod. I'd like to eventually build a, a bigger base, but I think we'll add, I don't think we need a bed in here. I mean, you're really gonna only stay in here for the tsunami. We got some equipment. I'll have like a weather station set up. Uh, maybe we'll do something else with some cameras. Probably a radio and some sort of GPS locating thing. I've got a couple things on the top here. Uh, some weather station stuff, but there's a couple other things that I'd like to add to it. So uh, let me know what you guys think. And then hopefully eventually we'll move to a ship. Uh, there's a good chance that's the tsunami. Yeah, this is probably going to fail the first time. We we'll, might do like a revisit of this, but let's just hope that we don't die during this. That, that's my main hope. I do have survival on right now. You can see it coming. Hold on, can we see it in the gimbal camera? Okay, mm move it up, up, up. I think it's on the other side. Come on, turn it, turn it. Oh, there it is. You can see it. Uh-oh, it's about here. All right. Ooh, there she is. The tsunami is here. I think it's coming from this direction. You can see it in the monitors. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, oh. The, wait, it's working. I think it's working. Are we moving? Who are the monitors? Okay, the engine, the generator's flooding, I believe. Wait. Did this, Okay, I got to look outside real quick. It locked down. It did it. Oh, yeah, you can hear it. It gripped. So... Four magols is enough for this pod. Wow, that actually somewhat worked. That looks amazing. Oh, and you can see the water coming down. I have a nice little uh, skylight here, that way you can see out that. And there that goes. Oh, let's go. Yeah, it just flooded it. So yeah, we're recharging the batteries. So it kind of works. Uh, this was a rough build. Maybe we'll do some more here very soon. But I think we should probably highlight some uh, We'll call them better things. <laughs> All right, so for our next test, we're gonna get a little advanced here. This is by Mr. In Jersey, which, like I said, has a YouTube channel. Uh, pretty awesome stuff. So this is a drone. It's pretty cool. It's called the NJ Reaper 3000. Now you can see it's got lights on it. There's the antenna. So it's gonna be, uh, I guess, transmitting its radio and controls over to this little station here. So if we walk over here, you can see this is a very, very nice little monitor station. So, so you got autopilot all told. Okay. Drone power and, okay, let's go ahead and put power to the station here. So look at that. These are the HUDs that I'm talking about. Like these are full blown. Like this is just mind blowing that we're doing this in Stormworks. Like this is all custom. This is something that they've done in the game and wow. Okay. So that is amazing. So we got our drone here. It's going to go drone power. Okay, there we go. So we got a little mini map. This is showing the location of our drone. You got the coordinates down below it. Uh, this will be the lights, or this is the camera, the gimbal on the front, which I think it's looking down. It's even got warnings for low speed, and we can enter the desired altitude. You got a power level over here. There's the autopilot coordinates, and there's one of the front, I guess it's a front facing camera. So it's also probably got, I'm assuming, the stay active block in it. So once this thing gets out of range, it's not going to make the creation disappear, which is so awesome to see. Let's just tell it to go somewhere. Uh, I don't have any other islands in view. Let's go ahead and set a waypoint up here. So, oh boy. Okay, set waypoint coordinates. Punch those in. We'll say we'll do it at 100 meters off the ground. Oh, look at that. His gimbal camera actually stays. I need to figure out how he's done that. Okay, this thing's completely... Yeah, this is autopilot. Like, I don't think I have to do anything here. So if I go to auto throttle... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There it goes. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 Oh. You didn't see that. Sorry, Mr. In Jersey. I probably should have told it to turn i didn't okay i'm gonna go away i just broke something very expensive let's respawn that let's see manual uav control so let me go ahead and do manual throttle real quick so uh oh i just clicked something else didn't i which one did i click okay i think we're good okay so i need to turn this to the runway and then we'll let it do its thing so okay i can control the y'all so let's go ahead let's give it a little more here go let's go to 10 okay all right she's rolling right now this is so crazy we're controlling this through a monitor i kind of want to just look back okay let's let it get out to where's it at here it comes okay can i turn you there we go 
Alright, alright, let's jab it. Alright, uh, let's go and go altitude hold, autopilot. Oh, how about you didn't crash into the water? No, there it goes! It's up in the air! It just cleared it! There it goes! What the heck? That is amazing! Okay, I think I got its alts, uh, way too much. Let's go ahead and go down to, like, 100. Oh, no, actually, not 10. Let's go 100. It just leveled itself out, so let's go boom. Alright, so you see, altitude is going down. Okay, I don't have a real clear vision. I'm waiting for it to pop up. Select auto throttle. Oh, there we go. Okay, auto throttle's on. I'm going to set that up to full. Okay, you can see the water. Uh, we're about to pass over what appears to be potentially an island. I can zoom in the camera here. Yeah, you can see there's this island coming in off the, uh, the right side. This is so crazy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Wait, did I... Did I kill the throttle on it? Oh, well, we sank it. <laughs> I need to play with it a little bit more, to be honest with you. That is amazing, though. Like, are you kidding me? Okay, one more try. Uh, let's set a waypoint back here. So let's go ahead and swap waypoints on it real quick. Let's go boom, 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 and autopilot back on. So, in theory, it's turning right now. You can see its coordinates there. It says select auto throttle. Last time I did that, it actually went down. Now I'm just going to keep it up here. <laughs> uh... Oh, actually, you can see it's turning right now. Yeah, there's an island or something right there. That's so cool. So, we can still mess with the camera. Uh-oh, I think it's going down again. Uh, auto throttle! Okay, hopefully it's good. Uh, there's a very big possibility I'm breaking it. Maybe the manual throttle needs to be turned off afterward? Uh, is it dropping? It is dropping. Oh, it's low speed, hunt. Down, 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 down. Okay, so apparently I'm doing something extremely wrong here, which... Completely on me. It's not on the, uh, the creation, but you kind of get an idea as to what is very, very possible with all of this. So that's not the only thing that we have here today. Which, like I said, Mr. In Jersey on that one if you want to check that thing out, which, amazing. So we have some other examples of creations. We have like a, uh, this is the Camera Dynamics TV with map. This is by, and it starts with a P. I don't think I can pronounce this. I'm going to actually flash it up on screen, uh, but let's check this out. So, this is a connector. What does this thing exactly do? Oh, it's got channels. Okay, power. Okay, so there's a map mode. So, the TV itself, you could hook it up to different channels, which I would assume maybe different cameras, uh, different elements, and then you would select the channel here. So, say if we wanted to go to, like, I don't know, channel one. So, you would click that and go channel mode. Okay, I'm getting how that works. Actually, I really like this little map thing. I'd like to actually be able to put that into the uh, the bunker that we're building. So yeah, uh, you see, I'm assuming this is a receiver, potentially? So he's got another one called a mini recorder. Why do I feel like these two actually work together? So say if we were to turn on one, and then we could loop it to the other one, which I'm thinking that's actually what it is. Uh, maybe I should set one of these outside. All right, so if I were to turn this thing on, so power's on, transmit's on. This is going to be transmitting on channel one. So we'll go transmit channel one. Okay, so question is, which that's an extra creation. We'll go over that here in a second. That's a radio terminal by TT. So if I were to receive over here, is it? I think this is what is happening here. So let's go power. Let's go to channel 1.00. So am I? Look at that. It's receiving. That's what it's for. So, obviously, I could be over there. You would see me in this one. So, that's a, actually a really good example. So, that's actually really cool. Uh, I need to just figure out how that actually works. Because that would be something I'd like to add to my little uh, bunker. So, over here, we have another thing. This is a radio terminal. This is by TT. So, this is a pretty cool little system, too. So, I actually watched uh, In Jersey play with this one. So, we'll power these on. So you can see that these are all set to 1 as far as the channel selection. So this is actually another custom thing here too. That's a full-blown keyboard in the game. So say if I were to just click in some stuff, we'll just click in, let's we'll click FF or FR. I have a little problem actually clicking this. FRR. So FRR, once we click that, if I hit send, see how it sends to the other uh, computers on the same channel? That's cool. So yeah, say if you're in a multiplayer server, uh, people are really far from each other. I mean, I guess it's a neat little concept to be able to actually type 
and send messages uh, over to other computers on the same channel. That's actually pretty awesome. So last but not least, what we're covering here today, I've got one last creation. This is by White Noise. This is the SSI pre-run. Uh, this thing actually uses a new component. We have a HUD here. So you've got that. You've got like a little map monitor here. You can see it's got a uh, GPS system on it. Very, very awesome looking stuff here. Uh, one other cool thing when we... Uh, hold on, let's go ahead and fire it real quick. There we go. See how it says engine on canopy. Okay, canopy closed. There we go. You can see it reads that. All right. There's your thrust. Engine throttle. Let's go ahead and kick that on real quick. Holy man. Okay. All right, let me go ahead and check the controls. Looks pretty good. All right. Let's go ahead and take off. Oh, no. These things are fast. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So, we are now in the air. I'm actually surprised I got off the ground that quick. But white noise does make some pretty amazing jets. All right, so I want to go altitude hold. Let's go ahead and level roll. And let's go cruise hold. There we go. So we got that. Uh, let's see. Flaps up. Retract landing gear. Uh, we can go brakes. There's formation lights. Let's go and turn nav lights. Have those on. Very cool. So yeah, that's just using another element uh, of the update here, which I didn't even know that was really even a thing, but wow. So you can see here, we got our uh, GPS little monitor here. It's actually still uncovering kind of what you see on the map. So that's why you see that gray area. But once you have more of the map uncovered, you can see a little bit better there. I guess while we're at it, we could uh, do a little bit of flying here. Look at that. Oh, these things are incredible. Which another cool thing about these jets, you can actually connect to the bottom, like uh, I guess bombs, missiles, uh, drop tanks, stuff like that. But yeah, these things are always uh, really, really awesome. Also, there is a carrier hook, which I've not seen that implemented yet. I mean, you can see it on the back here. So I'm assuming if eventually we'll have like a carrier or something, you could try to actually uh, land and see if you can snap onto a hook or something, which would be really awesome. Oh yeah, this thing flies like a dream. But anyways, I think that's gonna about wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. It's just really an update episode. Showed you guys that I am working on a little bit of a project. I would like to move over eventually to like a, uh, a boat or something. And then I don't think we're ever getting to this advanced level as far as a, something like a jet, but that'd be something I'd probably maybe leave to the actual experts here and I'll just do my amateur builds. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, do go check out the update. I'll have a link to, like I said, the channels uh, that I mentioned earlier. And if you haven't tried out Stormworks yet, I'll have a link to it down in the description too. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys next time in Stormworks.